So we have two of the custom rooms which are just so good in the terms of customizations, in the terms of stability. And I guess if you want to try out any one of these custom rooms, the name is we have Evolution XOS and we also have Project Infinity X. Both of these custom rooms are now giving you updates almost regularly. And if you want to try out any one of these custom rooms and are confused regarding some of the features, some of the customizations included in this video, we will talk about all of those things. So stay tuned and make sure to watch this video till the end. First of all, if you're looking forward to install Evolution XOS on your device, let me tell you that this brings you Google Pixel Launcher pre-installed. Pixel Launcher, which means we do not have any major customizations or features included and also the animations are so good by the way. But remember one thing because we have Pixel Launcher pre-installed, but that doesn't mean we have Circle to Search. But in this case, yes, we have Circle to Search. It is available. It is working perfectly fine. In my case, you just have to update your device Google app, update your Google app once from Google Play Store. Secondly, if you take a look at the in Project Infinity X, if you're able to notice, we have different launcher named as Quick Step Launcher, but we have the option for Circle to Search available in the miscellaneous settings. This is not just an option, it is available, it is working fine. So yes, irrespective of if you have Pixel Launcher pre-installed or not, we still have this Circle to Search which is available, which is working fine. So both of the custom rooms brings you circle to search. If you use circle to search, then this is here for you. But the launchers are different. Another thing is if we have a similarity available in both of these custom rooms that we have the BCR named as basic call recorder app pre-installed. So irrespective of which dialer you are using, if you want to change that, we already have the basic call recorder or call recording support available. One thing which is different and it's not present in Evolution XOS is this power menu. It's available, it's the part of Project Infinity X. So as you can see, we have this new power menu available. Might be, I mean, some of you might love this thing, some of you might not. Moving on to the volume panel, if you're able to notice, this is Evolution X OS. So we have both of the volume panels available, normal one, expanded one, and also the Android 15 style volume panel. If you want to enable the Android 15 style volume panel, just have to hold here and you will be able to open this Android 15 style volume panel. And same thing applies to Project Infinity X, but if you're able to notice, there's just themed version of, this is the themed version of volume panel. If you're able to notice, as compared to Evolution X OS, a minor UI change, not a major one, but a minor UI change. But both of the custom rooms brings you Android 15 style volume panel or the expandable volume panel, both of the options available for you. Talking about Project Infinity X, it brings you this dialer, which is also, you can say, it is looking similar to Oxygen OS or you can say Octavi OS dialer. This is the in-call UI which we have and it is not the part of Evolution X OS custom room at all. Moving on to one more thing which is private DNS which we usually don't talk about but this is also one of the things to keep in mind that private DNS in Evolution X OS we have a lot of private DNS modes already included. And in Project Infinity X, we do not have any. You have to use your own private DNS if you want to. You also have the option for disable for VPN in the terms of private DNS and it's available in Evolution X OS custom room. Moving on to the app section, you will notice that we have almost similar kind of options available. Yes, both of the custom rooms brings you app lock support. App locker is also quite similar. If you're able to notice, clicking on the protected apps option, we have same sort of options available, hiding the launcher, etc. So there's nothing new, nothing changed in both of these versions. But this is regarding app lock. This is not just about app lock. It also brings you the option for app cloning. The same options are available in both of these. By the way, both of these are based on Android 15. So if you want to use private space, that is a different thing. This cloned apps option is a different one. Private space is a different and both of the options are present. Moving on to vibration and haptic section, you will find a difference here in this case. If you use Evolution X OS, at the bottom, we have additional vibration options like vibrate on touching quick setting tiles and volume slider changes. Although this option is not present in Project Infinity X might love this thing might not but it is here so just wanted to let you know moving on to some of the things included in evolution x os let me show you first of all if you're able to notice we have the lock unlock sound options available which is the part of the latest update based on android 15 right now while making this video evolution x os version is 10.2 which is the latest version having the january 2025 security patch but most of the features might be same if you use the previous version or if you use the newer version if you're watching this video later on as you can see lock unlock sound which of course i will not be able to I mean, I'm not, I'm not able to show the sample for that, but for now, this is what we have. We also have some tweaks related to Pixel Launcher. 
as you can see we have the background blur option available what that is if you open this recent panel if you are able to notice we have this background blur available in this case so yes this is the part in uh, this is the thing which is available in evolution x os custom rom in the theming section moving on to lock screen customizations if you are able to notice we have nothing new thing it's it's quite simple quite minimal we do not have option for customizing the lock screen clock styles and adding the lock screen widgets it's been some time but the feature is not present if you use that feature you have to compromise that in evolution x os other than else if you take a look at the status bar options these are similar there's nothing new might you might face minor changes here and there but it's not a big deal at all moving on to notification section same kind of options we do not have anything new anything unique in this case also similar thing applies to quick settings panel there are minor changes in the quick settings panel for example we have the android 11 style quick settings panel which is obvious which is fine you have to adjust your rows and columns and that that is completely okay but one thing let me tell you that evolution x os brings you android this is android 11 style quick settings panel in dark mode so quick settings panel is in dark mode while as in project infinity x we will talk about that later on moving on to some of the other things like the features like hiding the developer options no storage restrict hiding the screen capture status application downgrade and so on and some of the other spoofing options so there is nothing unique and nothing nothing new for now play integrity fix have some new changes available while making this video but that is completely okay while as in project infinity x what you have different what is different in that one let me show you because this was about evolution x was moving on to project infinity x first major change you will notice is in the lock screen customizations you will notice we have locks and clock style clock customizations some widgets which are not the part of evolution x os while making this video maybe uh, maybe they they can add on add in future but for now this is what we have in theming options you will find wallpaper blur option which is not a part of evolution x os at all boot animations are already part of evolution x os which is obvious quick settings customizations are almost similar but you will find the option named as data usage panel expanded data usage panel and if you are able to notice at the bottom we have the expanded option for data usage also the quick settings panel is in light mode as compared to dark mode available in evolution x os everything else is just similar for example you can customize the android 11 style quick settings panel you can make it look like android 11 style and else miscellaneous as you just noticed ignore window secure flags hiding the developer status no storage restrict and so on similar kind of options present with evolution x os already and also in spoofing section you will find few of the differences for example you have the option for app spoofing per app spoofing which is just added in the latest update might be useful for you might not be not so sure but it is available so just wanted to let you know so these are the things available in both of the custom rooms we have project infinity x we have evolution x os both of the custom rooms are good of course but if you want to try out for more customizations and stability we have project infinity x which is good but if you need less customizations but good stability then minimal or minimalism you can say in few in few areas then you can try out project then you can try out evolution x os custom room